Toyota has always been under fire for not investing heavily into electric vehicles. Now, if you thought Toyota weren't interested in entering the EV segment, you're wrong. They're very much into electric vehicles and green energy and are more focused on hybrid vehicles in that regard. Toyota is developing an affordable hybrid electric semi-truck that can challenge Tesla. So what do we know about this new Toyota hybrid semi-truck? Let's take a look. Before we look at Toyota's new semi-truck, let's take a look at why Toyota is focused on hybrid cars. For years now, Toyota has been the leader when it comes to hybrid cars. That, coupled with not enough demand for EVs, has meant Toyota isn't so serious about electric cars. In a recent webinar, Jack Hollis, Executive Vice President of Sales at Toyota Motor North America, commented that Toyota's target of reaching 50% sales of EVs by 2030 is a long shot, and therefore, for now, Toyota will focus on hybrids. As of this year, Toyota partnered with Kenilworth to develop a fuel cell electric freight truck capable of 300 miles of range and zero emissions. The truck, which was developed as part of a zero emissions policy, builds upon Toyota's emergent fuel cell stack. The technology was primarily developed for Toyota's Mirai sedan and is projected to power other vehicles such as trains, heavy equipment and boats. Toyota includes innovative features with its hydrogen system, including a catalytic filter that removes pollutants during the intake of air. Along with its implementation in vehicles such as the Mirai and semi-trucks, Toyota has plans to promote and sell this technology to other companies. Now, Toyota began developing hydrogen technology in 1992 and announced the zero emissions Mirai in 2014. Its fuel cell stack forms the keystone of Toyota's emergence into the hydrogen market. Toyota is also being embraced by numerous companies, including BMW with its iHydrogen X5 SUV. Although hydrogen seems like a perfect solution to the emissions crisis due to its singular harmless byproduct, water, the infrastructure has yet to see significant implementation across the country. This is in part due to the cost of hydrogen, which can be more expensive relative to electric technology. But let's look more in depth at Toyota's fuel cell electric truck. The fuel cell electric semi-truck is built upon a Kenilworth T680 chassis. The T680 proves to be a robust platform to test the new technology with its aerodynamic design. T680 comes standard with remote diagnostics, collision mitigation, and smart lane assist features, complete with a luxurious cabin. Toyota outfits the T680 with a dual Mirai fuel stacks, which are optimized for high power density. It is paired with a 12 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery and heavy duty electric motor. A total of six tanks store hydrogen mated to the system that converts H2 and O2 to electricity and water vapor through the process of reverse electrolysis. With this technology, the truck is capable of more than 670 horsepower and 1,325 pound-feet of torque. It offers an impressive range of approximately 300 miles with an 80,000 pound payload. Andrew Lund, chief engineer of Toyota Motors Research and Development, commented that, after extensive testing with our proof-of-concept prototypes, we're ready for the next step of putting more trucks into drayage operations. Moving toward emissions-free trucks is more important than ever, and the Zanzef project has been instrumental in getting us closer to that goal, he said. It's undeniable that the use of these technologies can significantly reduce emissions amidst operations that generate a significant amount of toxic byproducts. The project is part of Toyota's Environmental Challenge 2050, aimed at reducing carbon dioxide emissions, conserving water, increasing resource efficiency, and preserving nature. Companies such as Nikola, Tesla, and Volvo have also offered hydrogen and electric-powered semi-trucks with the intention of use in logistics. Toyota North America lists key focus areas of water, carbon, materials, and biodiversity. Toyota has already tackled some of these goals by providing 18 electric vehicles, including Lexus models, and helping to reduce 35,000 metric tons of CO2 over a period of three years. The project commenced around 2015 with the introduction of the California Collaborative Advanced Technology Drayage Truck Demonstration Project. The objective was to develop 44 emissions-free semi-trucks for use at the ports of LA and Long Beach. Major truck companies such as Kenworth, Peterbilt and Volvo participated in this project. The initiative included electric yard and Class 8 trucks, electric gantry cranes and forklifts. Around 2018, CARB or the California Air Resources Board awarded a grant totaling $41 million for the development of such trucks 
referred to as the Zero or Near Zero Emission Freight Forwarding or ZANZEF program. With this grant, Toyota has been able to develop various test vehicles, the product of which is scheduled for delivery and functional use. A total of eight trucks will be distributed amongst companies Total Transportation Services, Toyota Logistics Services, and UPS. The primary goal of this pilot project will be for use in drayage operations at the Port of LA, a major shipping terminal notorious for its volume of toxic emissions. Drayage can be defined as short-range ground transportation that facilitates the global shipping logistics chain. These trucks will be used in such a capacity to transport cargo to other warehouses and ports within a defined radius. Thibaut Paquet, director of Toyota's fuel cell business group, said, The benefits of hydrogen are clear. That's why we expect our global sales of fuel cell systems to increase by a factor of 10 in the short term and why we have dramatically increased our production capacity. It will be intriguing to follow hydrogen fuel cell technology and its use in both heavy-duty trucks and consumer-oriented products. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.